How the heck do you factory default a network node? Let's talk about that. So there might be several reasons why you need to factory default a network node, whether you're changing the IP address, you need to move it, whatever the case may be, but for some reason you can't log into the thing. So in order to do that, you need to factory default it. So factory defaulting it is actually a pretty easy procedure. Um, and in this video, we'll talk about factory defaulting it, what the IP address will be after you change it, and how to log into it. Let's get started. So the first thing you notice is right now it is connected to the S2 system. So if I click on to the site settings and then node status, you can see this connect this this network node is the one that I'm working with, which is the one that's on the wall behind me. When you factory default the network node, one thing to note is that it will no longer work, meaning all card access will not work. If you have a mag lock on it, a door will be locked. No one can get um, in to the building as long as you have a pneumatic button to be able to, you know, get out. You'll be able to get out. It's done with a Rex motion. The Rex motion most likely will not work unless it's hardwired through the maglock. So, very, very important to know that if you're a, do have to factory default a network node that's on an active live system, that network node. Once you factory default it, it will be unoperable. Not you're not gonna no events will happen, any panics, anything that's tied into that network node will no longer work. So make sure that you're uh, very sure that you need to do this before you you actually factory default the uh, the network node. So the first step we have to do is over on the network node itself. This green connector is your power. So right behind the green connector is your revert key. The one right below it is your reset key. So if you hit this red one here, it'll just re reboot this board. So maybe that's all you need to do is just hit the reboot, reboot button and it'll reboot this node and start communicating again. But if you do need to revert it back to factory defaults, it's this button right here. And you're gonna simply just press and hold that button and you're gonna see some LEDs flash. Once they start flashing in sequential order to kind of count down, there it is. Once they start flashing like that, this network node, when I release this, will, re will reboot and will be factory defaulted. At that point, basically, you have to use the default username and password and IP address in order to get, it, get into this network node. You can also notice that the LED, it's, kind of, it's off right now. So as this thing reboots, it'll go through a cycle of different LED flashes. And this system status will go from off or blue to solid red. So that just flip to solid red. and I no longer have anything on this door. Well, if you heard the click too, but my mag lock has now relocked. It wasn't a shift, and now this door can no longer be opened other than with the pneumatic button. But a card swipe will no, will no longer work. After you factory defaulted it, you'll have to log into it just like you took it out of the box. So you use the same 192.168.0.251 IP address, and log in with the default username and passwords, and then you can add it back to your controller or to a new controller, move it, change the IP address, whatever you need to do. Hopefully this video added value to you today. If it did, let me know by hitting that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. How the heck do you factory default a micronode? It's not a micronode. I keep calling it a micronode. What are you whining about?